Okay, let us define the angular velocity of a rigid body. or a coordinate frame, now in 3D. Okay. Um, so recall, uh, by Ch uh, Chasler's theorem, If you have a, body, a rigid body moving in general, um, the motion of a rigid body um, can be uh, the general motion of a rigid body can be broken up. Um, into a translation of a single point on the rigid body uh, plus a rotation Um, about an axis through that uh, point um, okay so that's the so-called Chasler's theorem um, And uh, let's sort of draw that picture right now. Let's say that's a rigid body. And let's say we have uh, some axis like so. Um, and uh, some point. Uh, that is translating, and this is the point uh, about which, uh, uh, this is the axis about which the um, uh, rigid body is rotating, let's say. Um, not only is this Chasler's theorem true for finite motions of a rigid body, it's also, of course, true for infinitesimal motions, small motions. So let's say that uh, you consider a small amount of time. the motion of a rigid body in a small amount of time, delta t, okay? Uh, and we said it, it can, even in that small time, uh, it can be thought of as a uh, composite uh, of an addition or, or composition of a translation and a rotation, a translation of a single point of the rigid body and rotation about some axis through that point. Um, now, let's consider just a rotation. for a moment and let's call this vector this uh, axis through which um, the rigid body is rotating to be n that's the unit vector along the axis of rotation um, and let's say that uh, the rigid body in a very small amount of time uh, rotates by some angle 
delta theta, very small angle delta, delta theta in that period of time by an angle delta theta in small duration delta t, um, then the definition of angular velocity is basically the limit of delta t going to zero of delta theta divided by delta t uh, times, not dot, times n, the vector n, okay? So that's the definition um, of angular velocity and is usually denoted by omega. Um, that's a vector. And uh, this limit is a uh, unique quantity for the rigid body defined for the whole rigid body for the rigid body as a whole And you should never say angular velocity about a point and so on. Uh, never say things like angular velocity about a point because it's, it's, it turns out it's a property of the whole rigid body. Okay, so essentially it's a property of the instantaneous motion of the rigid body. Of course, um, instantaneously, um, you have uh, an axis of rotation and, and uh, a rate of change of angle about that axis, uh, but the axis itself might change, uh, the rate might change, and so on, okay? Um, but, uh, but this is how angular velocity is defined. Um, and it's important to notice that, uh, or realize that uh, it's, a, it's a quantity that is defined for the rigid body as a whole, and, and you should not say angular velocity uh, about a point. It's just a property of the whole rigid body. Um, we shall sort of expand on this uh, as we do more examples and so on.